this is Jonathan. I'm calling from the MPAA. That's the Motion Picture Association of America. Okay. And uh, I, I've got a fax here from our legal team uh, probably about five minutes ago stating that the digital copy that's playing in your theater is a pirated copy. Really? Yes. Yes. I uh, Unfortunately, this just came to my attention about five minutes ago. But uh, about how many showings would you estimate that you've had on that piece of film in the last, I'd say, 72 hours? Let's see. Uh Six to eight showings of it. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Wow. Um, so that does meet the criteria for litigation. Okay. Well, in, in the uh, interim here, I, I'm, I'm going to have our legal team contact your main office there in the morning. But in the interim, um, I'm going to have to ask you to go ahead and pull that movie from your theater um, until we can get this matter you know, resolved. Okay. I'm just curious how it could be uh, pirated. It's the same copy that, you know, we use, that we've been using. It's right, right. The actual... The copy that was sent out to your theater, we have uh, reports here. Uh, apparently, there's there's a digital watermark, and we have random screeners that will go to movie theaters, and they have special IR glasses that pick up on the watermark right, right. embedded That's digitally either. in that film. And no one saw said watermark and said film and said theater. I'm going to need you to go ahead and just go ahead and and, sh and uh, shut that off. Um, you're going to need to refund the people, you know, ticket prices uh, that are there. And get them out of the theater. You might want to put up a different movie at the moment, but at the moment, that that copy cannot be played at your theater. Um, so, can I get your full name again? Absolutely. Yes, my name is uh, Jonathan, and and my last name is Gerbil. All right. And would you like my callback number? Definitely. Uh, my callback number is area code first three one seven. All right, and I'll go up and uh, cancel that showing. That would be appreciated. Yeah. I'll. I'll go ahead and do a follow-up call with you probably in the next 10 minutes to confirm said showing has been canceled, and uh, then I will have our uh, corporate office in, um, interface with your management team there to see how we can go about resolving this without the need for further litigation. So I appreciate right. your cooperation. Right. The MPAA thanks you, and you have a great night. You too. Bye. Take care. Hi. Thank you for calling. This is how may I help you? Oh, hi. This is uh, Roy from the corporate office. Hi. Uh, we, we were just contacted about a movie that was playing there. Did, did that get shut down? Oh, yes. Um, hold on. I believe another... I'm going to get you the one, the, man, the manager who knows the full story of what's going well, on with that. Do theater, you know, okay? was, was the movie shut down? That's the important part. Yes. Um, have you informed the crowd about the problem? Yes. Yes, we have. We, got, we cleared the crowd. They're all out in the lobby. Oh, They're out of the theater. Could, could I speak with one of the people in the crowd? We need, we need to uh, interview them. Give them a quick yeah, survey. Hold on, okay. This is Mitch speaking. Hello, uh, this is Paul from the corporate office. I was calling. How's it going, Paul? Oh, not too bad. Um, we need to do a quick survey with one of the guests that are in the lobby that was seeing Twilight. Okay, I have a huge line of them. Oh, okay, could I speak with just, uh, uh, just they, one at they random? That's all about half of the movie. I see. If I could just speak to one of the customers, just uh, one at random. That would be One good. at random? Mm hmm Yes, may I get your full name? Oh, sure. It's uh, Roy Peterson. Roy Peterson? I thought you said it was Paul. Paul Roy. All right. Yeah, so just uh, put, Any... put a customer on the phone with me right now, and uh, I'm going to do a quick survey with them. All right. I'm going to put we... you on hold. Thank you. You still there? Yes, I am. All right. Here's a random customer. Okay, thank you. Hi, my name is Justin. How can I help you? Oh, hello, Justin. Is are um, which movie were you in there to see? Uh, Twilight: Breaking Dawn, Part One. Okay. Um, my name is Kevin Mitnick. I'm a famous hacker, and we're just we're demonstrating how easy it is to trick companies. <laughs> <laughs> we made them shut off the <laughs> into, movie into doing it into, into doing things, and we tricked the, the, the theater into shutting off the movie. <laughs> And we want you to tell the manager on the phone so you we tell can tell him that, but he's never going to believe you. That's the thing. Tell the manager right now. We want to hear his reaction. Are you serious? Yes. I mean, I know who you are. This is, this is okay. You know who we are. Who are we, <laughs> sir? Um, oh shit. This is uh, apparently you've been duped into actually shutting down the movie. Great. This is Kevin Mendick on the phone, apparently. Same phone hacker. <laughs> uh, man who claims to be Kevin Mendick. 
M I T N I C K. At least that's who he says. Uh, would you like to speak with him, or are we I'm done? Really I'm, I, I can yeah. talk. Sure. I'm, I'm Captain Crunch. Let's let him decide. And my name's Acid hello? Burn. Yes, hello. Is this the manager? Yes, it is. Yeah, hi. My name's Lloyd Blankenship. I have Kevin Mitnick and uh, Acid Burn. Captain Zero and Cool. Captain Crunch <laughs> and Zero Cool. And Zero cool on the line. And we just made you shut down a movie. Isn't that Why? funny? Tee-hee. Isn't because that hilarious? We're elite hacksaws. We hacksawed your brain. Lol. So, sir, you need to turn the movie back on, is what we're saying. 